Hello. Finale. Uh, I found Chrome. Hey, what's up? Uh, I figured we'd start this video off, well, A, uh, showing off the party, some of which are dead because I still haven't slept in the inn. Um, also, we aren't in the right formation. Let me just take care of that real quick. There we go. Um, I figured we'd do a once around on the castle just to show the finished castle off. Qualm, right there. Still being Qualm. Again, mm -hmm. just standing there like he always does. Uh, the basement does have, you know, the usual suspects. I don't think we really added anybody down here except for Crowley. I used Crowley for a bit. I think I casted like two spells with him because I did it for the Warren rescue. Fair. I used, you like, ever need a mage? I mean, he's the dude to go with, but... Yeah, he eh. has like nine and everything. Here is... Like, Lapont and his family and then other people. I don't know. I still don't know why Meg is other here. People. Man, yeah. you got a lot of people in this place. Tigart. <laughs> Tigart, who really doesn't do anything. Hi there. It's me, Tigart. Oh, I... Oh, oh, okay, good. I can get away from that. There's over here you have... Melody, Dragoons... Uh, I don't think Joshua, even though he joins you, ever comes here. No. Uh, several people who are very important don't actually join up. Yes. Um, again, this side kind of continues to be the people who have betrayed the, uh, the Imperial Army. On the whole. And we have some sound and window, window settings that I thought I would just hand over. It's called wind, but what it actually is is a bike horn. Of course it is. Uh, is that? Okay, no, that's Zen. I was like, Blackfin's in my party. any of the other window settings aside from the, the standard. They're just too busy. You don't you don't want to distract from the game itself. Exactly. Oh, I also uh, pointed out last video. Is I'm gonna mention it again, it's really good. Um, uh, when Sanchez betrays you, I point out that he never actually shows up on the stone. Yep. That's how really you, nice feature. Yeah, that's how you, you kind of are supposed to figure that. Uh, down here is the bath. We never, I never actually. Use, I mean, I'll hop in real quick. But yeah, you can take a bath. That's it. Becomes a much more uh, thing later on in the other games. Yeah, uh, if you go in there, they don't do that in the first one. I th well, I think you have a lot more conversations and such. Oh, okay. Well, hold up. I gotta jump in there and jump out again. It did the thing where it doesn't load dialogue. Or the, the music. I really like that uh, Blackman leaves his hat on in the bath. It's a good hat. Um, yeah, in the later games, and maybe a little bit in this one, uh, some characters will have extra dialogue with each other. I mean, there's a ton of little Easter eggs and everything in there, but... Elves and Can't non humans out here, and monks. The smiths, all together. I did show off the smith attack, and my god, that actually does a ton of damage, even if they're yeah, under leveled. It's ridiculous. I mean, I guess that's the downside of having to bring the smiths. Can't do for the end game. Yep. Now oh, we're missing a couple books, but like, one is apparently on his shelf back in the temple and I never picked it up. Uh, some of the sound and window settings are random drops, which I think is a bit yep. much. We should have all the paints, though. Yep. That's all it does.
What are the binoculars? Um, well, binoculars are things you look through to be able to see far away. They're not an actual item. Oh no, man. Templeton. Everybody else. And then on the top floor, you know, your standards. Nobody's really moved around here. But we have a war to finish. Get up and go. I'm going to save state. I did do a uh, account and just made sure that we had all the uh, the stone. Ah, okay. Let's march on the capital. We really don't have anything else to do. Good luck. So this is the thing each game does. Uh, this is the point of no return. You are rallying for the final battle, and if you get all 108 stars, an event happens. What are Hicks and Tengar doing here? It's pretty much all the storyline characters that you're forced to pick up. Fair. So you they always you are always going to have these characters at least. Yeah. They did that with the uh, the recollection scene the night before. It's just like here gotcha. you go. Here's all the characters that you force like Kryn. Kryn gets a fucking scene. So yeah, this is the story. Uh Wendy and like not here, escaped with the uh, the rune of the gate, uh, which was split in two, front and back rune. Which, because they have the gate runes, that's why they can teleport around. We are missing one star, who is super dead. Eh. And now he's not super dead. <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry about it, he's fine. I think you explained to me that she opens a gate in time. She, like, she doesn't revive him. Yeah. She, she opens, opens a, a gate, gate in, in time. time and pulls him out before he dies. I think the best way is that it grabs him right before he gets hit by the uh, fungus. Or the hell spores or whatever it is. It's like he's thinking these thoughts like, oh, I don't want to die. Quick, let me push them out of the way kind of deal. Yeah. Um, I do also like, I can only do this once. No, because it's, it's before he gets attacked by the spores. That's like the only reason that he's alive. Because she pulls him in before the spores attack him. It was like, you were in the room with the spores when the thing was broken open. You didn't die. 
Yeah, because he pushed you out before they got to you. Or rather in, because he saves your life by pushing you inside the thing and closing the door rather than all the people who are on the outside die horribly. So yeah, you can, you can take Remy up to the final battle if you want to. He's, Don't he's, do it. He's an okay character. There's just, you've gotten so many better by this point. The only reason I would say do it is if you're bringing Pawn too, because the Unite attack between him and Vaughn is way better than any action that they could take. There. You can actually just use the old party if you wanted to. It's really good. Cleo, yep. Vaughn, and Gremio are solid characters. Cleo is a really good mage by the end of the game. Yeah. So oh, the, the idea of his cape and axe is all that remained of him. Remember, this is a pulling him from time idea, not that we, like, revived him business. So right. the best way to describe it is don't worry about it. Just stuff happened. Now he it's has a timey wimey wibbly wobbly thing. God, what if he actually has a different battle sprite and he's just wielding both axes at the end? Like he's way more stronger. That'd be amazing. More stronger. You heard me. I was just gonna let it slip. Also, this. So the really fu like dumb thing about these fucking montages that they do is every time it cuts away, the music cuts out and then comes back in when it cuts back in. Oh. The first game has problems. Alright, final save state. And there's the music again. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. So, your army at this point has four rounds of free wins. Four? Start. Uh, you do dragon, and then you the oh, three yeah. nin triple ninja. Hey, there's Uber. Remember Uber, who Purse Maria is trying to hunt down? There yeah. he is. Also, yeah, smug asshole here. Why is Kanan here? Don't ask stupid questions. Also, Uber is more than a little insane. Uber. He kind of wants to destroy the world. Yeah, and here's like not just being like, look, this is a war, like kind of between the humans. Let us hell magicians not interfere. Yeah, it does seem like Uber and Persmerga have pretty identical suits of armor. That's why I hate that they never go into either of their stories. It would have been so good if Pesmerga had shown up in the third game. You know, the one that mostly focuses on stuff involving Uber. And also showed up in a very fancy suit. Yeah. Look, that suit was dapper. The Soul Eater. And here's Joshua, using the Dragon Rune. We're still not sure what it, it does. It is a true rune. It, it's a true rune. We're not sure what it actually does, but it, uns it killed those monsters. By the way, I love that uh, Wendy says you must never use the Soul Eater rune. What do you think you've been doing for the past 30 hours? <laughs> <laughs> Look, that final spell is really good. It does like 15k. Or 1500. Alright, here we go. The final battle. They're they're very they're being very direct about this. You know, I might actually have to step out after we do this and put the party together. Cause I didn't rest in, it and I think Victor's still dead. <laughs> huh? Uber is actually leading this one. I forgot about that. Yep. All right. Final save state right here. Cause I don't want to lose anybody in the final fight. You have a different save state you can go back to in order to yep, zero. rest. I don't. I think you can leave Gregminster. Maybe we'll find out. All right. I Dragon's love that first. the response is from Kuro Mimi. Well, if they have bows, then we get destroyed. Dragon. Yeah, dragon, dragon trumps everything. It says yield to bow. Oh. Well, we'll see what happens. I don't think fucking yep. Uber is going to use a bow.
Yeah, it just kind of mulches their whole party. Yep. Yeah, as I said before, these later war fights, mainly because, like, well, actually, the ninjas aren't all, like, you're not going to get them all automatically. You get no. a couple of them, but not all of them. You could consume whatever her name is. Right. Oh, you can also just use the inning Greg Minster. There you go. Yeah. Welp. What? If we just reduced their army in half, how does nobody want to trade her? They're very, very loyal. Uh, also, would you try to turn traitor when Uber's standing right there? Point. Uh, Magic Beach Charge, yes. <laughs> yeah, can't you just sleep in your house? Man, that'd be weird. Yeah, you can't. You can't merchant again. You only merchant once. Next plan is magic. Bows. Did we just win? And they can have a little bit left over. I have yet to lose anybody. This is actually kind of fantastic. Mm hmm. And then we'll just do a boosted charge. Yep. Which, by the way, hey, motherfucker, Grimio's back. You know what that means? Tears oh, now. Oh come on! You gotta use the you gotta use the charge of the oh. Maxwell's force. Actually, Maxwell is way better than everybody else. <laughs> of course he is. He's that good. It was actually a bow attack too. Oh. Completely destroyed. <laughs> I lost nobody. Isn't the Greg Minister innkeeper in your castle? Fuck, you're right. <laughs> Don't worry about it. There's somebody else watching it. Can I just kill Kassan? <laughs> you might have killed Kanan. Also, I like... Yeah, here you go. Oh, hey. Hey, Hanzo. <laughs> Yes, you show up right at the end. We hit out until you finish killing them off for us. Thanks a bunch. There's a very, like, eerie music for this, of mm -hmm. this, like, wind, and then, like, a very faint, like, the, 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 uh, Greg Minister theme. Mm hmm Alright, so what's our team? It was... Bell. Alright, Blackman. Ronnie oh. Bell and Tangar. Tangar, there we go. Where's Ronnie Bell? Where's Tangar? There's Tangar. Ronnie Bell, Ronnie Bell, Ronnie Bell. She's on page three. Thank you. I was looking for Bell. Mm hmm. If I remember right, you gain a ton of levels in this last place because it's the final dungeon. Uh, very possible. So if you need to, after like a quarter of the way through, you can like rest at the end and gain back all your magic charges. Yeah. 
Sorry, I'm just doing some something in the background here. Hold up, this party needs to be arranged properly. There we go. Nice. Go to the end and revive Victor. <laughs> uh, the end is locked. Oh no. Do I you can have get medicine. I can get things appraised though. Hell yeah. Can you rest in your own house? Man, I'm just looking around real quick. <laughs> The eerie music stopped, so it's just completely quiet. <laughs> nope, my house is also locked. T t time to go back to the castle. Hell yeah. Can you just leave? Yeah, probably. I I would have to imagine that they would not lock you behind a wall of n no items. And like, no, no way. Yeah, no healing. No way to get your magic back. Well, here's the uh, here's the Greg Minister place. I didn't go here, so I wouldn't have access to all the completely broken stuff. But now I do have access to it. I can buy silver hats for everyone. Yeah, my dad changed the locks. You don't sell anything. Uh, back to the castle. Anticlimactic. Uh, I can warp. Hooray! You can buy better gear, though. Uh, I could buy hats. But fuck it. I'll just go. I mean, what's the... Mm, like, seven... Thirteen points. Mm, uh. <laughs> Every little bit toys. counts. Uh, yeah, let's save. Possibly. Hey, comma. Oh, oh, oh. Stairways. Stairways are hard. Wait, if you can always warp back to places that you've been, why can't we just warp the Greg Minister from the beginning of the game? Because Wendy might be sitting there waiting for you. Mm -hmm. That checks out. You know, I, I can afford a silver hat for everybody. Everybody gets a new hat. Alright, now we got the, the really eerie music. It doesn't have his maximum cast levels, but eh, we'll be fine. Victor actually, or not Victor, yeah, Victor. Victor is surprisingly good at magic in this one compared to the second game. Yeah, it's weird. In the second game, he is extremely shit at magic. In this one, they actually give, give him level three spells, which is surprising. Still better off just being a fighter. Well, yeah. And in the next game, it's one of those, Victor, just don't. Howdy. Just don't. Do I duel this guy? I think you do. <laughs> I believe your name was Schlottenheim Reinbart III. <laughs> yeah, remember that guy you saw way back at the end of the game? He's back. There's there's so much talk just like is this wrong? Well, I'm loyal. Yep. Like loyalty versus what is right. That's a good point. Like you've taken all of his men, everybody that you haven't taken is dead. I am literally all he has left. I can't betray him. It's good. Yep, this is happening. Oh no, this is just a boss fight. Yeah. Oh, this is a good test run of our party. Are you ready for murder? <laughs> Healing Wind is the single target. Shining Wind, I guess, is the AoE heal. The level 4 is, is an AoE the... heal. Alright. Yeah. So I'll just use Storm. Ooh, 
That's gonna hurt. That hurt a lot. Oh, there is a problem with Tengar. What? She's slow. Not necessarily a bad thing. It is when I need heals. I think her and Blackman are probably underleveled. A little bit, if they can live through this next round. Oh, he did melee. Good. Why did I not use Ronnie Bell's room? You did the first round. Yeah, I didn't use it the second round, though. Well done. Ah, the Proto Shield room. Yeah, we're gonna have to heal just... after this. So, uh, fuck it, Judgment. Oh, she's Shiny Wind again. Just in case the AoEs. Yep. Ronnie Bell. You think, yeah, she's alright. She's not the best or anything like that. And then you realize that she can just use that hate rune every, every round. Turn. Yeah. Why? Because she can. And it does about as much damage as Victor Critting. Yes. And, but, yeah, it does, I think, a little bit less. But she can always do it. She is reliable. And that's what a proper team can do. Yeah, Blackman just doesn't... They, they aren't actually that far behind on levels, them in the back row. Might need to re-gear them. Uh, they're about 10 levels behind some of your front crew. Oh, right. 10 levels does mean quite a bit. Yeah. Are we, just are we... fight. You can run inside the castle and fight a couple fights and then run out and heal. Alright. You'll level up pretty quickly. Yeah, we're absolutely sure there's no place I can go and heal. Not that I know of. The thing about Blackman is he's a farmer, but if he crits with that um, farming implement of his, he actually hits really hard. Yeah, like... Blackman is a one-trick pony. He just needs to actually crit. And we, we give him a rune to make him crit more. Yeah, he just got a little bit unlucky. He's about the same sort of trick as Victor. Yep. Holy shit, Flick. He's fine. Now let's just use a couple uses of hell. Oh yeah, I think as soon as you get everybody up to like low mid 50s, you'll be fine. Just take them out, heal up, and you'll be good to go. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna explore this first floor. Yeah, hey, there's a chest in here. Wind spun armor. I'm sorry. Very good. I think it's a heavy armor type. Hello, black man. How much armor did you get from it? Uh, 18. Yeah, that'll help. Well, it was magic attacks that were taking him out. Oh! Oh! I what? hit the wrong button. What did you do? I tried to run. Oh. Man, you guys are so owned. You just don't even realize it yet. It's fucked up that they let this work on every encounter that isn't a boss fight. Just 100% sent to the Shadow Realm. They did a great job of showing, yes, the Soul Leader is a horrifying thing. It's extremely strong. <laughs> I'll clear out the second floor, and then we'll head back and heal. Yep. Yeah, Blackman and Tank are already pretty much caught up, because they're both level 53. Yeah. Is luck, is luck not around anymore? No? Rad. I'm just gonna start using my rune as much as I want. Yeah. There's one soldier. And dead. Oh, 
Oh, this fight actually looks interesting. Ikodona. Ikidona? Not there yet. Ika making the donuts. Boo. So, let's break that thing down. It's got a serpent tail and lower body. It's got wings. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> I do not fear phantoms. Well, whatever it is, that just gave a ton of experience. Yep, uh, I think we're good here. Yeah. Let's run out, let's heal. I'm back. curious how many spell oh. charges some of your people got. What? These are large men. You know what a large man can't beat? Magic? <laughs> Hell. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. Also, those phantoms give pretty good experience, too, so three of them at once. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. By the way, a lot of these guys, the phantoms and colossus, when you saw the monsters outside that um, What's-His-Face was controlling, it's the same monsters you're seeing here. Yeah, I noticed that. I just didn't say anything. Hey, there we go. Like all options. Perfect. Let's go heal. You got up to 56, 57 with everybody, so at this point... Is there really no place in Greg Minister to heal? I don't think so, man. That's really stupid. Uh, let's go check the shop one more time to see if there's anything better we can slap on somebody. Because it's really just magic damage that's really eating up the guys in the back. Mm -hmm. Now just could put Cape of Darkness or Guard Rings on them, but that's about it. I mean, I'm going to buy this Earth Shield for Victor, because that slaps him up a ton. Oh, Guard Rings. You already got one. It's all, it's everything I can do. I cannot equip more stuff. I think you're. Yeah, I'll be fine. Alright, let's go sleep all the way back at the castle real quick. Here in the final legs of the war. Here continuously comes back to his house in order to take a nap. Yeah, it's fine. Young master, please. You have a job. Curious how many more spells your uh, two main spellcasters picked up. Oh! <laughs> what? Tegra's alright. Yeah. <laughs> she was 8642 before. Uh, that's a little bit better. And Foot can use the final spell now. Mm-hmm. Let's just offload some gear. Yeah, oh. three more uses of the level four spell. That's minor. You know, the one that heals all my party and damages them. Mm-hmm. It's whatever. It's all right. It's acceptable. Oh, I didn't. I don't think I actually showed this off. But uh, I did level everybody's weapons up to 16, which is the max level. Yep. They're all looking very spiffy. Yeah, which, it, like, this is a good showing of um, this been how much I've been handicapping myself the entire game. Yeah, look at all those attack scores. Yeah, like, I've been keeping myself purposely either under leveled or under geared so that fights would be at least a little interesting boss fights because let's be honest every normal fight is just oh hey hell yeah which hey you can use your hell spell and your fingers of death spell to clear out normal fights if you can't for some reason let them go and save the other two things for the fun things like you know murdering bosses did I just drop Earth Boots? Yeah, you did. Pity oh. you don't have Earth Spells. 
Does that boost earth magic? Might. I, I forget. I think there might be a couple items in game somewhere that boost stats and such and certain magic types, but that might be nope. the later games. Just says increases d uh, defense. But it's a droppable item. I don't think you can buy those anywhere. Yeah, it just seems like it's a little bit better than the other stuff. Hello, Colossus. Goodbye, Colossus. <sighs> Still that very eerie Greg Minister music mm -hmm. playing in the background. Nobody's here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just monsters. Just the monsters that Windy summoned. And a couple soldiers here and there, but you uh, killed most of them. We're monsters. Are we the bad guys? Eh. Thank you, Ronnie Bell, for finishing off Colossus. Never, never actually used that rage rune that I went all the way back. Well, I didn't go up there. I didn't go up to the top of Neckward twice for the rage rune. I went up there for Peshmerga. Blackman's sprite does look a little odd. It, like, he doesn't have the same border. It's weird. He looks Everyone else looks a little sharper. He looks just a bit faded. They never expected you to use Blackman. That's why he's so awesome. Can you just let them, like, run away? Nope. Banish oh. to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> it's a forced encounter. You can't run from it. I meant let them run. Yeah. I. They had the chance. <laughs> they had their chance. No, there's no let go option, sorry. Which means I can't let you go. To hell. I'm sure they're fine. Is the Soul Eater the most broken main character rune? It feels like the most broken main character rune. Of the Suikoden runes? Uh, it's up there. I mean, the second one's pretty darn good, too. Yeah, but the second one doesn't have a button that just says, I don't feel like fighting. Yeah, I don't feel like fighting this go away. You guys keep... Did you not see what just happened down the hall? Please. I, I feel bad doing this now. There are craters in the ground where there is nothing. Just nothing. I've killed them all. Please stop doing this. You don't even get good experience. Well, at this point, you're all level 57, 58. I think that it would have been a great thing to have is that if you, anytime you use the Soul Leader, you don't gain any experience. It keeps happening. We'll defend the Emperor. <laughs> yeah, we left no corpses. There's no bodies. It's the perfect crime. I don't know if it's the perfect crime. I like your HP totals for all your people. 600, 600, 600, 600, 600. 490. She's a mage. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh, y you, you all, you're the lucky ones. I'm yeah. out of hell. <laughs> you just get to die normally. Except for you in the back, you're going to hell. Well, yeah. <laughs> you, you get special banished. Oh, these guys are actually pretty tanky. Oh, yeah. Ronnie Bell still kills him, but... Ronnie Bell. Ronnie Bell's a really good character, and I'm sad I never used her before. I think I read something someplace where if you put the windspun armor on Humphrey, he yes. actually has it in the next game. That is correct. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mark Shadow. Storm. Save your spells. Look. There's a lot of them. That she has a lot of uses of Storm. Yeah, her using a Storm or two isn't that bad, actually. Uh, yeah, it's specifically that. There's also a couple pieces of equipment that if you have on the main character, they transfer over, but I don't remember which ones I don't carry enough to Master find Master Robe. 
It's the master robe and something else. All right. All right, time to use the judgment. The windspun armor coming in on Humphrey is useful because spoilers, he's in the second game, and secondary spoilers, I think he shows up pretty reasonably. Uh, no, he does show up rather later in the game. Never mind. I am forgetting. Um. Oh, that's right. You can go pick him up super early if you exploit the game and push the gate that shouldn't be pushed. I probably won't be. Yeah. Because it, it it power levels you for the rest of the game. Yeah, you're ludicrously overpowered. Holy crap. What? I have run out of hell. Please stop doing this. <laughs> I think something actually uh, someone pointed out to me is that Ronnie can actually sit in the back row and be okay because uh, the hate, hate room is long range, isn't it? I believe so. That's Ronnie. Why are you the best character? Yeah, <laughs> here are the legendary warriors. A like three three very strong resistance members. A very large martial artist, a woman of the village of warriors, and a farmer. Yo, know, these encounters keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I also oh. like that Ronnie has more health than anyone else in your party. <laughs> I'm not saying you should put her in the back, people in the chat. I just, I'm saying that it is an option for her if you have like so many short range people you want to bring to the end game. She can just sit back there and be like, guys, I got this. Oh, yeah, I mean, you say Blackman's probably better in the back, but Blackman can equip the wind spun armor. <laughs> Blackman is a very competent front Roman. But yes, you're seeing here, like, what good armor does for us. What good weapons does for us. Bam. Man. What if I did bring Sarah? Is that it? Are we done? God damn it! What? <laughs> I thought we were you... done. And then oh. I turned the corner. <laughs> uh, rainstorm. Fuck it. Black Shadow. I am so done with these multiple enemy encounters. Save your spells. I'll be fine. Oh, you're using the level ones. Okay, yeah. that's fine. I'm sorry. When I thought Rainstorm, I thought it was the third level spell. No, 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 no. God, there's another room, so there's going to be like five more force encounters, aren't there? Maybe God seven. damn it. I was right. You are going to hit level 60 by the end of this. Should have saved my uses of hell. <laughs> you know, when I entered Great Minister Castle, and it was like, huh, we're already uh, leaving, you know, getting let goes, and stuff when you know there's 11 minutes left before we hit the 45 minute mark uh, we should be good to you know finish this on time uh, we have just hit the 45 minute mark of the video uh, Victor much like Blackman are using crit burns and uh, they go off more than you'd think so the damage output is usually worth it well I just got a horn helm nobody can use it a uh, horn helm is probably for Extremely heavy, heavy armor, armor types only. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, I'm turning corners and like, is anybody gonna come out? Is that is that it? We done? That's the proper exit. 
I don't want to go the right way. I don't want to get items. Try it. Ooh, save crystal. And a power ring. Okay. What's your deal? Is your deal making Victor hit like a goddamn truck? Hell yeah. He'll be fine. Well, I mean, its whole deal is it's slightly less defense, but it boosts power. So I have gloves that boost power and a ring that boosts power. Oh god. We need this, uh, we'll need that save. Yeah, apparently this is the carryover save point thingy. Yep. Oh no. What? Okay, we're good. It was a really long hallway. I thought it was going to be like another 10 encounters. Nah, it's the dread slowly coming over you. Here we go. Before you do the fight, if you haven't gotten there yet, medicines. Get everybody topped off. Good idea. Uh, so, you may remember this garden from the, uh, the fudge scene. Where fudge fudged it up? Yep. Um, you'll also notice that uh, everything is dead. The king has not been caring for the flowers. Like, I like this. This garden, it's all I have left. Wait, and then the very good... Yeah, this is all I have left of my empire, and I will protect my empire with my own hands. All right, final boss. This, I guess, is what the Sovereign Rune does. Nobody really knows, but this is an assumption. Uh, each head does a different element. Wait, Unite? No, I thought I saw a Unite attack. <laughs> Pretty sure <laughs> you're up. supposed to kill the middle head first. Well, we'll see what happens. Also, this is, this is the, we're not messing around anymore time. Like, yes. you use the best spells ever all the time. Yeah, I'm going all out. We are shining wind every turn. Yep. So remember how coming up here, a lot of the enemies were doing like something around 30 or something damage? You know, 60 tops? Keep that in mind. Ah, she goes faster than the dragons, so that's good to know. Crap, that. Alright, so everybody just took about 200 damage. Yep. Welcome to the final boss. He does not fuck around. Let's kill that middlehead. Oh wait, I think the middle head is actually lightning based. So Victor's lightning magic isn't gonna do anything to it. Oh yeah. Eh, he can be hurting the other heads. He's fine. Yep, 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 yep. Uh luckily that's why I said in my setup, I need a healer. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, that's less than the guy outside the castle. Man, they were like 15 levels lower. <laughs> yeah. Also, yes, I want to point out that I am going all out. 
I didn't go all out on bosses before. I think they just healed. I didn't they go out. Have. I didn't go all out on bosses before this one, and I still handily took out some of them. The Ronnie game Bell. expects Jesus Christ. Yeah, the game expects you not to be fucking around at all for this fight. Uh, they actually healed last turn, so I can use Storm instead of Shining Wind. Go for it. By the way, we haven't seen the middle head actually do anything yet. So I'm interested to see what it's going to do that you were worried about it. Ah, the bottom one is wind-based. Oh! I was wrong. It's the one on the left that's the healer. Okay. Or well, the we right, killed the middle the right one. head, the right head. Alright. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's, the, it's the one on the left is the healer, so kill that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, did it revive a dead head? Yes, it did. That sucks. We are super killing that one now. My bad. It's I'm fine. Of a different Hydra. <laughs> it okay. There are a lot of Hydras in different games that do this exact setup. We we'll fast forward through some of these spells because they are long animations. I don't believe they revive with full health, however. Yeah, it, it revives him with 2,000 HP. There you go, Blackman. You did the crit. As an aside, the middle him. one is, in fact, lightning-based. Yeah, the one on the right is fire-based. I, I kind of assumed that when he based. shot the fireball at me. <laughs> yeah. Bam! That's him with the garden rake. Oof. 250, 270 damage. That thing can hurt when it wants to. Yeah, like I said. I want to point out that the enemy's coming up here. We're only doing like 30 C damage. I love because of the boss animations, whenever Blackman jumps in, it slows down real bad. Yep. Listen, you gotta get the awesome animations for the farmer coming in and slamming a giant golden hydra with a farming implement. Okay, so we've seen the damage that their attacks do. I think you can actually hold off on healing this round. One. Yeah, everyone should be fine. You're getting pretty close to the time where Flicks, you just start smacking him instead. Is the level 2 not worth it? Eh, he can crit and deal more. Alright, noted. Yeah, that's about his normal attack and damage. This is why Flick is amazing. When he runs out of magic, he's not useless. He just says, you know what? I got this. Yeah, we need to Oh, you killed the middle head again. Oh boy, we need to heal next turn. I just love Ronnie Bell's animation for the hate rune. Firing a Hadouken. Wow. Okay. That's three crits in a row for uh, Blackman. He's making up for the castle for the run Yeah, darn right he is. He's like, I have to prove that it wasn't a bad choice to bring to this fight. Is Ronnie out damaging him? Yes. You know why? She's amazing. Just, All right. Second head down. Yeah, you got this now. I mean, there was never a question in my mind that we weren't going to get it. Yeah. I it also just... like that everyone else is taking tons of damage and tears just sitting there like, guys, I got this. This magic oh, there we go. is nothing. That was it. Wow. Victor got the... Well, we have been doing a ton of damage to that head. Yep. But yeah, uh... Damn, 1,000 damage crit to finish. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs>
<laughs> Thanks, Barbarossa. He's the best. And then here come all the generals. Hi, Wendy. I'll make a se separate save, yeah. Just in case. What are you going to do with the Soul Eater? You can't actually take it. I like it's implied that Wendy's actually Hell incredibly yeah. powerful. Hell yeah. Souls of the Dead. We still have Gremio's soul. <laughs> but yep. then we just got him back before we ate his soul. Time. Time. T time travel. <laughs> time shenanigans. This is why you don't try to steal. That was directly just a luminaire from Chrono Trigger. <laughs> that effect. <laughs> Oh, right, they actually tell you what the Sovereign Rune does right here. It protects him against any kind of magic. Mm -hmm. That's bullshit, first of all. <laughs> I threw so much goddamn magic at you. So yeah, here it's revealed that it wasn't just that she looked like the queen, uh, Barbarossa had actually fallen in love with Wendy. He's kind of a nice sometimes. Yeah, and he's just like, I fell in love with you, and that was the only mistake I've made in my entire life. And it costed me everything. So what happens when the owners of two true runes die? Incredibly bad things. Incredibly bad things. If you actually look, uh, he's not surprised at all. He's just got a really firm look on his face. She actually has a very surprised look of, wait, what? as they're going over the edge. Alright, time to get the fuck out of here! Yeah. 
A shame we can't run. But this is a pretty alright sequence, so I'm not going to fast forward through it. Here, I'll stall them. Uh, meanwhile, your other mages just sitting in the back, cracking the knuckles, like, "No, I got this. Don't worry about it, Victor. We'll be fine." Guys, I still have a screen wipe. Come on. Yeah. You know, after doing a whole stream of Dynasty Warriors for like four hours, this is pretty remnant. You can still get into random encounters. Yes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, after doing a whole stream of Dynasty Warriors for about four hours, this is very reminiscent of a lot of the stuff that happens there. Oh Thank shit, Flick! Flick's fine. Yeah, this one you're actually not forced, forcibly removed, because who would? But thou must. But thou must. <laughs> fucking Victor and Flick assassinating each other. Also, this, my sassy sword. I love Victor and his sassy sword. So and once again, in the chat, uh, five is like five years before the events of one, so yep, it is well beforehand. And of course, there would be characters here missing if you had brought them into the fight, yada yada yada. Yeah. Wait. Wait, hold up. Why is Tiger here? Look. <laughs> you can teleport through time and space, okay? I love fucking Gen and Command Commandol. They're just like, you love these guys, right? They keep showing up. <laughs> I'm like, I literally forget that they exist every time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's not all rainbows and sunshines for everybody. Yeah, he knew. Maybe if he hadn't gone back to the castle to sleep twice, he wouldn't have died. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I was tired. Matthew. 
Yeah. There we go. Okay, <laughs> I was worried for a moment there. Yeah, and then they do a, and where they are now thing at the end of the game. For every character. Literally all 108. Every character. A lot of them is, it just goes back to doing what they were doing. A lot of them sets up for the sequel. Like, Humphrey leaving with Futch. Uh, yep. Talks about, yeah, how a lot of the generals went back. Uber still searching. Gremio leaves a tear. But yeah, that for the most part is so we can done. Um I've talked a lot about this game over the course of it. I still think the story is pretty fantastic, especially for Konami's first RPG. Mm-hmm. Uh, the game obviously has a lot of rough edges. The inventory stuff is really fucking bad. There's a lot of fluff characters that are kind of useless. Um, but, you know, the first game in a series is always really rough. Uh, that's where Suikoden 2 comes in, which is far and away the best in the series. Yeah, it's... It's solid from beginning to end. Um, that said... As I said, I still really like the story of this game. Um, it throws a lot of curveballs at you, constantly... For instance, like, setting up the beginning of the game is just you're taking missions and you're going out on them. And then you come back and, like, uh-oh, my friend's a demon <laughs> with a hell rune. Uh-oh. I actually think the story... I like the story of this one more than two. I just think that two has so many other things that are better than one that two as a whole is a better game. Yes. Um, I will say that the highs in two are better than the highs in one. But one is better overall. Except... Except for the Neck Lord storyline, it really feels yeah, like it's out of up. nowhere. Highs in one are might be better than two, but the lows in one are much, much lower than two. So, in the end, two is better. Yeah, but like, oh, there you go, Maximilian retires. Um, but yeah, um, but it, like, I, I do feel that, like, nowadays, on modern, like, looks at games, uh, the inventory in this is a complete mess. Uh, the oh, yeah. economy is really fucked up. How many times did we have to crime to max money just to use other characters? By the way, Maximilian and Sancho are just an amazing uh, homage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, uh, that's Don Quixote, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um... You know, they try and fix the economy thing. They probably realized that the economy was way fucked up, and that's why they introduced the money-making guy. That's the only thing I can... <laughs> Unless they just wanted to let you play that game anytime. Well, yeah. Um... Yeah, like, you can really see that, like, they, they spent time, they figured out the combat system, because the combat system is really solid for just, like, here's six characters. They can interact with each other, they can complement each other. There's the rose system, there's runes. The runes are a little bit of a mess because they're a bunch that are kind of not worth it at all. Mm -hmm. And you're also generally limited, and then like you put you put a spellcaster rune on this, and they're like, I'm never going to use this spell because what does it do? It, like, what does fucking Fog of Kindness do on the water rune? I still don't know to this day. I don't think it actually does anything. Exactly. Um, so you're never going to use that spell slot. I think overall, if I had to give this game a letter grade, or a number grade, 7.5 or 8 out of 10, there was a super solid game there, but it's really held down by a lot of the archaic systems. Oh wait, were you talking about Fog of Deception? Yeah, that one. It, oh, it just makes you dodge more. Yeah, like, you can't see that. That's another thing. The game doesn't explain anything. No. You can't actually ever see what spells do until you use them. Which is both good and bad, but at the same time, it should give you a little bit more info. And again, like, I ex express this, but there you go. There's the two chefs. 
they're joke characters. You can take them in the combat, but they suck. Yep. And there's no storyline to them at all. They they just exist, which is incredibly boring. Uh, they definitely wanted to do something with the whole 108 thing, but I think they just ran out of ideas near the end of it. Several of these characters, the things that they say they do are is actually false. Like, because they show up in the next game and they're not doing what it said they were doing. For example, Kasumi, it says she goes back to the um, uh, ninja village, but actually she's serving in Gregminster by the time you get there. However, yeah, 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 that's right. If you that's have 108 right. people in a game, eventually, and you're trying to bring people back, you're going to bring back the popular ones, or at least people, mm -hmm. the ones that people are going to remember. Oh, there's Klon again, good old Keeper of Torin Castle. Man, you were so useful the one time you helped out with Don Quixote and Sancho with being the greatest charging force in the game. Uh, but yeah, like, there's a lot of fluff characters, and that's really annoying. Yep. Like, somebody even points out in the chat, uh, two has a chef, and he gets a whole storyline. There's a whole mini game with the chef, and he gets a storyline. It's fucking, it's awesome. I can't, I can honestly not think of a character in two that doesn't do something. Well, there, there are some. Uh, but generally, those are storyline. Well, I mean, there's the squirrels. But they have the gimmick of them being the five squirrels. Hmm. Like, even that has a thing to it. The chefs don't even do anything. They're just really bad combat characters. Eh. I will agree with you. I think this game gets like a 7.5 or an 8. I definitely give it more credit in my head because of, like, nostalgia, because this game is amazing. I mean, yeah, but I'm looking at it from when like it came a pure out. But from now, oh, number absolutely. standpoint. From now, there's a lot of stuff that's wrong with this game. Mm hmm. Um. God, just there's certain side like the whole Malich area, which is a shame because as like the whole Gremio death scene is probably my favorite part of the whole game. Yes, it's it hits really hard, but that whole area leading up that where you're like running back and forth between towns and like you fucking had to tell me how to progress. It was like, oh no, you have to get on the river, go down, hit the whirlpool, mm -hmm. then go like that's why would you ever yeah. get on that boat? The best way to describe it is that this game takes the hands off the reins a bit too much, unless you just explore. And I think it needs just a little bit more direction. Didn't need much. It just need a little bit more to be like, hey, you need to go this way if you forget or something like that. But it's a good game. Um, yeah, it's still really solid. Better there's than obviously things they could have touched up. They probably over like on a time constraint or something, but. For their first foray into an RPG, I, yeah, they could have done far worse. Better than a lot of the RPGs that were coming out in the PlayStation at that time, mm -hmm. and definitely incredibly impressive for Konami's first attempt at an RPG. I think this game, um, one thing that they really improved on in the second one is this game is like, who's the overarching villain? Because you don't see them too often in this game, just because Barbarossa and Wendy are usually in the background and stuff. They well, fix that in the second game. They do. Uh, well, that's the interesting thing is that Wendy, Wendy is definitely like shows up a bunch, mm -hmm. and is definitely like she's the evil one. But then everybody's always talking about Barbarossa. Is like, oh, Barbarossa has changed. He's weird. He's evil now, and we don't know. Like, like obviously it's Wendy that's manipulating him, but like that damn emperor is an evil guy and then like the first time you actually meet up with him outside of the intro is mm -hmm. with Futch and he's just like ah I see Wendy did something didn't she get mm -hmm. out of here take yeah. this flower says, and leave like he's now before you get out before she sees you the nicest person in the empire that you have met up to that Pretty point much. like it's just like what the game is telling you, what is actually going on, are two completely different things. And it's good, because you're receiving all the information from, like, word of mouth. Anyway, we've been stalling because there is a post-credit sequence. And there you go, that's it. <laughs> no dialogue or anything. That's what you get for uh, 
a one of eight stars is uh Tyrion Gremio leave. They are they're fed up with uh politics. Yep. Also, I believe Tyr is at that point where he's like, I don't want to be around the people I love with this rune. Yep. And Gremio would not let him leave alone. Yep. But that is for another time. Mm-hmm. For now, uh, we're done with Tsubuki Den. And, wow, it's two RPG night. Not that bad. Two games under my belt. I'm okay with that. <laughs> and two um, good games. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you around next time. I'm not yeah. sure exactly what the next thing will be, but yeah. It'll be awesome. Yep. Have a good night, everybody. Good night.